So I'm going to start sharing some sweeps. Uh, I have a 20 to 20,000 hertz sweep that I will be running. You won't hear that sweep because it's really annoying and gets really loud. But what you're seeing right now is the output of the pack unit, the pack AP4 dash Frank Delta 21 for the Ford CAN bus audio systems. And I have the volume turned all the way down. And you're just seeing uh, at you know 100 and 0 to 120 millivolts. There's very little output there. And as I turn it up, watch the left hand side of the screen. You will notice the voltage scale. And I want you to see the full voltage of the output. And I have it set on 4 volt. However, it still maxes at 5 volts. Then what we will do is we will switch over to spectrum so that you can see the uh, level output of the line level of the pack AP4-FD21. Gonna get started now. Gonna start turning up the voltage, turn, I'm sorry, turning up the volume, and you will see the voltage adjust with the volume as the sweep occurs. And you will also see where the volume level is uh, in converse to where the voltage level output is on the pack unit. Two things I want you to be aware of as you're watching me turn up the volume and watching the voltage increase in proportion to the volume increase is I disabled the parametric EQing completely in the AMP Pro software in the PAC AP4 unit. So there is no EQing happening there. And on the uh, Ford Sony stereo itself, all EQing is set to zero or center and all fade left, right, or front and center is set to the center as well. So I was intentionally targeting 2.8 volts for the log sweep so that I could see how it played out uh, under the spectrum and you can see it building right here as it's averaging and building. And I don't think you could ask for a flatter response than this, just a little bump down low on the very left hand side and I'll show you where that is in just a second. So let's see what it is. Looks like it is right at 380 hertz. So let's move the scale down to 390 hertz and you can see what it looks like on the low end as well. We'll just kind of let it build for a second. But that's pretty flat. Um, there is, looks like, I don't know, 6 dB or 8 dB difference there across that flat area. And then this little rise here right at 30, 33, 34 hertz. And that is a bump coming from the system somewhere. Who knows? And I think I would say that's about it. I would consider the pack unit to provide a very flat response.